All right, welcome back. You guys know what's going on. Midweek magic again, but it is Wilds of Eldraine constructed, so you have to use cards only from Wilds of Eldraine. I decided to go with Golgari Food, as uh, Golgari is quickly becoming one of my favorite uh, deck types. Although I'm pretty sure we're going to see a bunch of fairy stuff, but I guess that's to be determined. But. If you find yourself coming back to the channel hit that subscribe button for me small act for you but it's a huge deal for me and it's greatly appreciated but let's go ahead and jump into the deck we're gonna run four witches vanity so we can create some food and a little bit of control in the beginning mosswood dread knight uh really like this card too it's a good little draw for the dread whispers but then the creature itself uh can be pretty much casted all the time as long as you don't let it go. Uh, like as it says, when it dies, you may cast it from your graveyard as an adventure until the end of your next turn. So, in a way, you can kind of keep him around for a long time. We're also going to run four Rook Rider Fawn. Uh, basically to add mana so we can ramp up a little bit. Tough Cookie. <laughs> man, I like the little co uh, food golems, the Cookie Mans. Uh, so I'm excited to have him in the deck and use him. Gumdrop Poisoner, also a really good card. Uh, f with our food to be able to gain life, we can kind of give things uh, minus minus, depending on how much life we gain. So, pretty cool, pretty fun. Greta, Sweet Tooth Scourge. Uh, we can sacrifice a food and put 1 1 counters on creatures, or sacrifice a food, draw a card, and lose one life. Uh, so, she can draw for you or buff up your dude mans. The end is a good way to get rid of uh, some annoying stuff. Yes, it's it's four mana, and it can cost uh, less if your life total is five or less. But really, we don't want to be that low on life. But this is a good way to get rid of creatures or planeswalkers for good. Then we have the Fawn's Bane Troll. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you can create a monster roll, which is plus one plus one to trample. But you can pay one and sack an aura to have him fight. A creature don't control and if that creature would die it gets exiled instead so pretty awesome then we're going to run the gruff triplets uh enters the battlefield if it isn't a token you create two tokens that are copies of it and when it dies you can put a one more counter equal to its power on each creature you control named gruff triplets so you, uh the more they kill it the bigger it gets and virtue of persistence uh, as a sorcery, no minus three, minus three, and gain two life. But if you play out the enchantment at the beginning of your upkeep, put target creature card from your graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. So that's pretty cool. And lands, uh, four restless cottages. We need those. They're pretty good. I mean, they come in tapped, but to be create a four four, and when it attacks, you can create a food token. So. That will help build up our food. But this is the Golgari food. Very excited to get it down. So uh, let's quit yapping and throw down some cards. Alright. Tetrodotoxin. Awesome name. Uh, our hand's not good, but we go first. I mean, I guess it's, it is good. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what's going to mean. Because we have, you know, three two drops, you know, a little bit of control, a little bit of creature dude mans. But let's go ahead and drop the pawn so we ramp just a little bit. Or a little extra green. But it looks like we've got Azorius as our opponent, so I'm expecting some nonsense here. Um. Well, that would use our. Black mana up. Um, let's go ahead and do the adventure. Okay. Uh, nah, let's just. No, let's get the food token. I think the food token's kind of important. 
it kind of, you know, I didn't really want to use the mana that way, but otherwise it's just kind of wasted mana. I could have done it on their turn too, but... Oh, great. Berries. Super fun, super cool. Let's get a Restless Cottage out. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Now... We can get a Dread Knight out, which I think we're going to go ahead and do. But we will see what he's going to respond with. We got four open. Azorius. We got a little bit of fairies. That's a good fairy too. Oh my god. Not like that. Okay. Oh, if I play this, this is going to get countered. So let's... Just swing in with the Moss Knight, see what he does there. Okay, he's gonna tap it. We're not going to attack either, because I need the Root Water, or the Root Rider, cast him. I imagine it's gonna get countered, but. Yeah. Oh, I thought you could only play uh, cards in the set. Oh, I guess that's in the set. I guess that's just different uh, art, I'm assuming. here three but let's try and keep the attack lanes open for our big guys okay stunning it I like it okay I kind of like this guy's deck I think he's just missing a few key pieces to it is what's going on but let's go ahead Really just wanted to make the food token. Didn't care too much about the exiling. But I'm sure that can be very important. The old key. Old key, but a. Hey. It gives us the chance to play the Bonds Bane Troll again, so that's kind of cool. Ah, uh, the Flutterkorn. Evil. Money's got four open, which. Oh my god. Well, let's just try and go big, see what he does. Try out some more counters. See if we can get rid of the little bunny. Or if he can protect it. Yep, he can protect it. Lame. Nah, pretty cool for him. 
Not so much for us. But we need to get our other root water or root rider falling out so we can get the virtue of persistence out. Okay, let's see. He's got two cards in hand. We have a bunch of food tokens. I'm not going to block any of that. I don't know if it really much matters or not, so... Got to get our Root Rider. Got him out. Okay. Let's get our Moss Wood out. We'll kind of swing in with the troll, see what he chooses to do. Okay. I'm gonna lose a life for that. Uh, we could have dropped a tough cookie, but meh. I don't see the point. I just kind of want to get the virtue of persistence out at the moment, so. Then I'm pretty sure he's just holding up another freaking counter, so... Swing mm. in with moss wood. Counter on it's gonna win. get him with the gruff all right match one not too bad not too bad at all hemist interesting name all right we'll get to go first again a little bit of removal for early so right oh we knew we had to see you at some point. <laughs> or maybe surprise, maybe something. Else. It'd be Rakdos Red. That would be cool. Let's go ahead and get our fawn out. I'm sure he probably won't last too long, but if we can ramp a little, that would be nice. And actually take advantage of the wicked rule. What is this? Oh. Okay. We won't be blocking them. Alright, let's 
try and take out something else. Mainly this thing. Do not want to deal with that. Let's get our tough cookie out. get into one land we can kind of take this back a bit but he's gonna kill me with those things force me to discard oh he has no he has Rakdos but he has no swamps okay I see what's going on you're kind of in trouble fair enough Now let's get our triplets out. Give us a bunch of blockers. We're not gonna go on the offensive just yet. Ugh. I was hoping that we could beat him before that, but it is what it is. big damage because the rats can't block which is an issue He kind of got screwed a little bit. He didn't get that swamp until, you know, way too late. But, man, I gotta make me a rat deck. I wanna play one so bad. But let's go ahead and get on to the last match. All right. Final opponent. Uh, I'm not sure what his name is. Opponent goes first. Do we hope we draw into a swamp? We do. Probably a mistake. Oh god. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> if we don't get a, a swamp next turn. Oh, it's Spellbook Vendor. Great card. But we are in trouble. Oh, Boros. Okay, I like it. If we could get the black mana, that would be cool. And there it is. Saved by the bell on that one. Ooh, my goodness. <clears throat> but. Oh, 
the ginger brute. Super annoying. Get the other tough cookie out. I think I'm gonna save the troll for next turn. Wait, can we? No, I want to keep him out so I can use him to turn the uh the food into uh, creatures. Because at least he can still do that. He just can't attack and block, but that's fine. And I want to save this troll's fight ability, because I have a feeling he's got a legendary coming out soon, so... Oh man, come on. Come on. Well, that was a bust. We could have had a good match, but... That's the midweek. This Golgari food is just... It's super fun to play, and I'm very thankful I didn't come across a billion Demir fairies, so... Don't be that guy. Don't don't be that guy. Come on, try something new and fun. Uh, as far as this Golgari food, like I really like uh, the deck, and I cannot wait to you know delve more into it. Because I think even in alchemy, with a lot of the food from Lord of the Rings, I think there's a a good deck there to be made. I just got to sit down and really look at it and see what's there. But uh, I had a lot of fun with this one, and I hope your midweek magic's just as fun. But thank you guys for watching, especially if you made it this far. I appreciate the hell out you. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good.